Well, the tractor's not working right, and I've got no one to blame but myself. I came out here yesterday to do a little bit on the sawmill and I went to go lift a log and the loader just would not lift. Now this isn't the first time this has happened. In recent weeks this has happened a couple times and each time I kind of just play with it enough and it starts working again. Well, finally this time I couldn't fiddle with it enough in the right way to get it working again. So it's time to try to diagnose this. I'm reasonably certain it's my own negligence that has caused this because I am way behind on the general maintenance on this tractor. I've got almost 700 hours. I was supposed to do a complete um, drain refill, replacement of the uh, filters and all that at 400 hours. So I'm way overdue and I've known I've had to do this for a long time. In fact, uh, I purchased all of the parts needed from Messix back in, I've got the receipt right here, except, uh, June of 2022, and here we are in January of 2024. So I knew a year and a half ago that this needed to get done, and I just never put in the time to do it. So put it off, put it off, put it off, until finally here we are, the tractor's not acting right. My hope is that if I uh, drain the hydraulic fluid, change the filters, then flush the system, that it will start working again. And if not, we're going to have to ship this tractor out and get it fixed by somebody who actually knows what they're doing. So as they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of, of cure or something like that. And I'm sure if I had done the maintenance that I was supposed to do back when I was supposed to do it, we probably wouldn't be having this issue. But it's not not just a hydraulic system that's way behind i've got to do an oil change i actually came out here yesterday the tractor wouldn't start because the battery was dead and uh it's five years old we've gotten the life that we're going to get out of that battery so i picked up a new battery today and then i started looking at a couple other things and here's just an example of how bad i've let this tractor get the fuel water separator has a little screen filter inside of it this was the filter that was inside of that fuel water separator. I haven't drained the water out of it in some time. The water froze and then started to corrode um, the uh, the metal housing and it, the, when it froze, it pushed the screen up. So here's what it's supposed to look like, like that. And you can just imagine what kind of gunk and junk went into the fuel system. Thankfully, there's you know, another fuel filter out in front of this. So that needs to get changed as well. So here we are in less than ideal conditions in January. It's freezing out. I can already barely feel my fingertips. The ground's wet. There would have been plenty of other better times to be dealing with this than right now. But here I am, again, only my own fault. Let's see if we can get the tractor working. <laughs> How's this gonna work? So yeah, dump that fuel filter out. Get all that water and other junk that was in there. Fuel filter's on. Now we can move on to the hydraulics. And after that, we'll do the engine oil as well while we're here. Might as well, right? Honestly, don't know where the drain plug is. That looks like a drain plug. Yeah, there's probably another one back there. <clears throat> well, that came off right to the end. There it goes. And come over to this plug might exceed the capacity of this tub the size is that bigger oh don't round it off let's see if I got a socket that fits that Get it. Oh, there it goes. There it 
goes. So that's just about 20 quarts out of the system so far. <clears throat> Didn't have the camera on, but I had got the first filter off. Spins on right here. I mean, go to the other side and get the other filter off. <clears throat> oh, this one's got a magnet on it, and there's not a lot of debris on there, thankfully good there it goes. Right. trying to dump the pail in there is awkward so I'm transferring it to the jug There are two halves to this oil pan, so I'll get the other half. All we've got to do now is put some fresh oil in and we can start it up and finally see if we fixed our problem. And if not, not only am I going to be disappointed, I'm going to be a little unproductive, a little behind on some of the things I want to do around here in the next couple of weeks while this thing gets fixed. But let me get the oil in there and we'll see what happens. Now we get to see if it works.
So there we go. About an hour and a half worth of work. Two days later, I can finally do what I wanted to do, which is put a log on the mill. Moral of the story here, guys, keep up with your maintenance. If you're gonna use a tractor, you're gonna need a tractor on a property like we do. You're gonna rely on a tractor, you're gonna need it all the time. You gotta take care of it. And like I said at the very beginning, I got no one to blame for this but myself. Now I know what's involved with doing those different things. I mean, oil change I already knew, I've been doing that, but the uh, hydraulic fluid change and those filter changes, definitely did not keep up with that and uh, get what I get for doing that. So thanks for watching today, guys. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.